the Champions League draw has just happened. We were live on YouTube. We have literally just jumped off of YouTube and TikTok and Twitter um, to come here and tell you guys that Arsenal have drawn Bayern Munich. How, 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 how is it that we're going to draw Bayern Munich? But I am not going to complain. I actually believe that this is the time for us to exercise all these demons. We started the round of 16 demon exercised. Next up is Bayern Munich meeting up. Thomas Tuchel is meeting up against Ateta. Ateta has just been... He's had, he's had a good record against uh, Thomas Tuchel, but we all know what Tuchel does in Europe, and we also all know what Bayern do to Arsenal in Europe. But these are not the same teams. This is not Arsenal of 20... whatever it is, right? And this is not Bayern of yesteryear. Yeah, Bayern also going through their own problems. Harry Kane is coming to North London. Those boos are going to be so loud. First game is at the Emirates Stadium. Then we go to the Allianz Arena to play them uh, for the second leg. <sighs> Yo, it's this, this, this is just going to be... Uh, yeah, I'm sure all of you guys are happy, but yeah, um, we need to exercise the demons. Like that, that's all I can say. And what this does for Arsenal, it means that April now becomes a do or die month for us. Like the month of April is about to become something else. We play Man City on the 31st of March. Let's just start there, right? The, our entrance into April. Then we have Luton at home on the 3rd of April. On the 6th of April, we have Brighton. Um, then on the 9th of April, we Arsenal is playing Bayern. First leg. Then uh, four days later, Arsenal versus Aston Villa, 13th of April. And then um, three days later, Bayern versus Arsenal, return leg. Four days later, Wolves versus Arsenal. Um, a week later, North London Derby, Tottenham versus Arsenal. Um, and then on the 11th of May, we go to Old Trafford, like, that month of April is just do or die for us. Like, we actually don't have... There's, there's nothing else. Like, we actually just have to win all those games and just make sure that... I don't know. It's going to be a tough month. Like, that that to us is... is hey, that's a backbreaker. Um, all those boys need to become fit ASAP, right? It's a good time to have party back. It's Declan Rice. You just... You played basically the whole season. We have to find ways in which we can get him to... Um, be good for all those games. Uh, Gabi J, Martinelli, these muscular injuries have to stop. Like, we cannot be have these muscular injuries. I don't know if Timba will be back. Uh, even if he's back, like, it's 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 not the best. Like, that crunch time is hard to bring someone back, especially coming back from an ACL injury. Um, yeah, man, that month of April is intense. It's actually a joke. It's actually, it doesn't make sense. Um so other than that, obviously, we had uh, the other side of the draw. We have um, Atleti going up against Borussia Dortmund. I think that's that's it's an, it's an okay draw. Atleti have looked quite good as well. Um, I think just from how they managed to uh, like play against Inter, Memphis Depay coming in late, uh, scoring late, uh, I think six minutes after he came on. Um, Griezmann is still looking really good. Morata, like they, I think they re did a very good job in nullifying Inter. And BVB is just going to be a different proposition, a team that attacks a lot. Um, Sancho is uh, all of a sudden bowling for this team. So interesting to see what he does going to Atleti. And then obviously the big one, the big, big game is Real versus Man City. This is... Um, rematch of last year and i don't understand how in my opinion personally i know you guys have different opinions but personally i don't know how you can pick how you can think real is just going to knock out man city like man city's biggest hurdle was that mental block of not having ever won a champions league they have one under their belt and they did that by going through real last year first leg again is at banabu second leg now is at um, etihad everyone is fit for this team like everyone is parring real have a bit of injuries i know bellingham has been out but i'm sure he'll be back for this both games um they don't have militao they don't have couture in the comment section i was being told that both of them are back but still acl injuries i don't think you risk him in playing this game i feel like that couture is just going to be ready for belgium um yeah and if is anything is to go by like if you saw how real uh who did they play in there who did they play in the round of 16? I forget. But they looked quite average. Leipzig, they looked very ab average in my opinion. Um, I, I honestly believe that was a one-off. When you're playing against Man City, you have to step up. But they looked quite average against Leipzig. 
they can't repeat anything like that. If you try that against Man City, and you, you're low Man City, when it comes to April, May, now that's when they ramp up their pressure as well. So, yeah. For me personally, I'll go for Man City there. And then PSG versus Barcelona, both teams just have their own problems as well and issues. PSG, wow, that thing scared me. PSG have their own issues, but they they managed, they did well to get through Real Sociedad. Um, Zubimendi, who I thought was going to be like the star, like they did, they, they nullified him quite well. Takekubo as well. Um, biggest threats for me. I think the key players in this team, obviously you have Mbappe. Like that's, 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 the, that's the X factor. But... Vitinha in midfield. Vitinha is going to have a uh, he needs to have a big game. Frankie De Jong got injured last game around. I believe it was hey, it was a severe ankle sprain. It was even stretched off. So I don't think he's going to be fit for this game. You can let me know in the comment section if he is. But they're depleted. They're just they're just I won't say depleted. They have injuries in crucial places. Um and there's the matter of the coach leaving. There is. There's just a, a things that are happening. Mbappe is playing without pressure. Uh, he knows he's leaving at the end of the season. Like you no, know, like he doesn't have to deliver. If he delivers now, it's going to be a bonus. But he doesn't have to deliver a Champions League trophy right now. They are quite relaxed in their league as well. So, I think I think PSG are just going to get the better of uh, Barcelona and make it through to the semifinals. And then once they get to the semifinals, Atleti, the winner of Atleti BVB plays the winner of PSG versus Barca. And then the winner of Arsenal versus Bayern plays Real or Man City. There's a chance in, in a certain world that we have an English derby um, in the semifinal, which is actually the worst news for United fans because the chances of now having our fifth spot in the Champions League, uh, they diminish significantly, you know. Um, yeah, you'd rather... You'd have rather you'd have rather the two of them meet in the final, um, but semis I guess is better than them meeting in the quarters because that means one of them has to go out in the quarters, right? So, still some hope for United. You need also need to pin your hope on Liverpool to win the Europa League and um, Aston Villa to do good things in the Europa Conference League. But yeah, that is how it looks like. Champions League draw: Arsenal versus Bayern, Atleti versus Borussia, Real Madrid versus Man City, and PSG playing Barcelona.